hey guys. I wanted to sit and talk <laughs> a little bit. I have some things on my mind. And I guess one of the biggest ones and, you know, sometimes it feels weird to be back and forth on this. So first off, it has been a couple days since I have lived in the new house. And I have to say that I feel like a different mentality or just like my state of mind feels different. I'm just really excited these past few days going to sleep, waking up <laughs> because I really enjoy living here. I enjoy what this house has to offer. Like just earlier, I decided to take Riley out in the back and do some fetch with her. And I love that I can do that. So later on, maybe if I do another session with her, I'm gonna set the camera and record some of her jumps because that's something that I've always wanted to do. I love catching her jump catching. I think it's awesome that she does that. Um, I do plan on going for a joyride today. It's been a while since I've done that. And uh, yeah, just wanna take it out for a spin. I got my oil changed recently, got my chains cleaned, so it should be running very nice and smoothly. But one of the main things I guess I wanted to talk about is World of Warcraft. So right now I have been in a stage where I'm not playing anything right now and that is mainly because um, I'm just tired of Dota. First off I love the game. The game is extremely fun when there are the right circumstances and that's the unfortunate part about online gaming that can be extremely frustrating for me in this day and age for me. Um, I'm 29 years old and I also have a personality that really wants to make sure that I spend my time in a way where I'm, you know, satisfied with it, happy with it, not stressed is one of the biggest, uh, what's the word? That's just how I live my life. If I'm stressed out by something regularly, I will identify that and think through, is this worth me spending time on if I constantly feel like crap when I'm engaging in it? And that's what Dota started feeling like, where I can come across like so many different things, whether it's like people being sexist, or just like Dota ending up being um, an activity that I don't actually enjoy, whether it's through teammates that are giving up easily, or um, just Game quality is not really there. It's really hard to have a good quality game in Dota. And Dota games also last 40 minutes average, maybe 30 to 40 minutes. So they're long. And um, it just started feeling like I was constantly doing something that brought me no enjoyment. And even though I do love gaming and I want to play something, I'm not going to force myself to play. Because there were a couple times where recently I was playing Dota mainly because I was streaming it and I was like what the heck people are still watching me stream because I don't stream consistently anymore because I don't enjoy Dota so the fact that people are tuning in like having 10 plus viewers when I stream like every three weeks or something I'm like wow that's amazing so sometimes the um, uh, I guess intrigue of streaming and having viewers trumps my uh, requirement of enjoying what I'm doing and after a few days consecutively of streaming to stream not streaming to have fun while playing I was like I'm not really having fun playing this Dota game but I'm doing it just so I couldn't stream but back to WoW so expansion comes out on Tuesday and the main reason I'm interested in playing outside of just playing something I'm familiar with and um I guess going back into that universe, even though truthfully um, I have forever been disappointed in the game, but I was also thinking it doesn't hurt to just play it and then once I stop enjoying it, I will stop. And also I have never streamed WoW before at the beginning of an expansion. The only time I've ever streamed WoW was, was it, I don't know if it was Cataclysm, it was a long ass time ago nine years? I don't know. Eight to ten years. Something like that. Um, I was streaming Arena 
I remember, and it was the very first time I had ever tried streaming. And I think I was gaining traction because since I'm doing PvP, I'm able to advertise that I was a previous four-time Vlad, so Vlad Eater. So people see that and they're intrigued, let alone my gender, unfortunately. And um, I think I started gaining some traction, or I also got raided once by somebody else, sent his viewers over to harass me and chat, and I was much younger than I did not like the surge of attention. I actually still do not. I don't like a surge of viewers stopping by my channel because um, part of streaming for me is seeing similar names and recognizing people, but if I have a bunch of people coming over to harass me or message, that's why I have a limit. I have follower only mode for one day, so people can't just drop in and harass me. That is a big, big deal to me. Um, that's also another reason why streaming is not something I ever decided to try to do full time, not at all, because I value interactions, high quality interactions, let's say. So I don't want to be talking to people who drop by just to make a sexist remark or um, who try to troll and spam Twitch emotes. That's just not for me. I want to fucking converse with you, not for you to just spam me with emotes. So anyways, back to WoW. It's going to be on Tuesday. Well, yeah, I think I will. <laughs> um, and I guess the days leading up to it, maybe even tonight, I will start streaming if I play. Um, the main thing that I anticipate streaming right now is I'm going to log in, set up my UI. And that part I actually do tend to enjoy because it's kind of like design. It's also sometimes can be coding related even in the slightest bit. So I like customizing stuff. So I'm gonna set up my UI. My UI was something that people really, really found interesting um, when I was doing Mythic Plus, which I do find a little surprising because it was mostly ELV UI, which is like already pre-set up. I don't remember what kind of adjustments I made. I think I just made the chat bigger and I hid all my spells outside of cooldowns, but um, yeah, I want to set that up. I'm going to do it on stream, um, and I guess I'll do some of the pre-expansion pack quest lines. Just see what else there is to offer. Um, I do have a board and train on Monday drop-off. They're going to be staying with me for a week. So when I think of that, sometimes I get a little bit nervous about the thought of gaming, because gaming is something that you put a lot of time and focus on, consistent hours. Right? But the good thing is that when it comes to board and trains, actually, um, most of my work with the dog occurs during the day. And the rest of the time, they're going to be crate training because that is a valuable skill that they need to learn. And the more they are being crated um, throughout the week that I'm working with them, that actually dramatically um, improves their state of mind, their attitude and all of that. So uh, even though it will be early on in my board when the game comes out, I don't predict that that will uh, interfere with my desire to play and stream because at night, which is when I do plan on streaming and playing, um, the dog will be boarded and uh, it's not a time that I need to be training with them and whatnot. So I will keep an eye on her to make sure that she's not going crazy in the crate because that stuff is actually behavior that needs to be um, addressed right away. Oh, and another thing um, that I have actually been in conflict internally is truthfully, I want to heal. I want to heal because I enjoy it. So first off, I do enjoy playing Shadow. I definitely like the competitive aspect of dungeons where you're competing for damage. I do really enjoy that. But at the same time, I think I'm also tired of classist stuff, right? Um, there's a lot of competitive players, I guess, that just don't see Shadow as being anything valuable, so they automatically dismiss you because of that. And I do enjoy healing, so that was something that I always did on my priest. 
before the latest expansion, me going shadow was just a coincidence of whatever situation I was in at the time. I did raid for a short period as shadow, but um, I forget. Oh yeah, I think it was just my friend who was like, I'll pay for your transfer, please raid with us. And I was like, all right. And that was the first time I ever went horde. But um, I am highly considering healing this expansion because I also really like the fact that healers are valued, right? Like DPS is abundant, healers and tanks are uh, less population. So that would also give you a higher chance of getting into groups or something like that. So I am highly considering healing once I hit max level. <laughs> Sometimes when I think about that, I feel worried because a lot of people enjoy watching me play Shadow. And I even enjoyed watching myself play Shadow for some of the older videos. Like actually, early Legion when Void Form was different. When I look back at those videos, I was like, oh, this looks like, like a lot of fun. Um, so me wanting to switch makes me a little reluctant because suddenly um, when it comes to WoW, I'm known to be a Shadow Priest player, not a healing priest when let's say 80% of my time playing this priest has been as a healer. And it was just random out of the blue me wanting to post Mythic Plus videos that got me known for Shadow. So um, I just feel like I'm gonna be letting people down or um, people will be sad about it, I don't know, like maybe people really don't care, but yeah, that's just something I'm highly considering, and um, I think it might bring a bit more enjoyment for me, just because I, I like filling in that healer slot, because I trust myself. Another thing that I like about healing is that it provides you with a better vantage point for calling stuff out. And you guys know that I'm a very vocal player. If I'm communicating with people, I am good at environmental awareness and calling stuff out. Oh, actually, fuck. <laughs> that's, that's backwards. It's easier to call stuff out as DPS because you can just tunnel one target. You don't have to look at the party frames. So I'm actually wrong about that. Calling stuff out as a healer might be a little bit more challenging, but um, okay, scratch that argument. <laughs> Anyways, I, I think that's mainly the gist of it. Um, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that early on, I will be streaming myself playing. So if you want to stop by and say hi, please do. I would love to hear from you guys. But um, yeah, please let me know your thoughts about Holy versus Shadow. I do not anticipate playing Disc. I don't like that playstyle. I just don't. Yeah, I don't think I do. I'll have to see. I mean, I could always test it out a little bit more and play it a bit and just see if I'll warm up to it, but uh, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I just need more experience with it because when I think about it, I could like it if I just become more familiar with it and um, used to the playstyle, but yeah. Alright, that's, that's all I have to say. Alright, bye.